How are you today? <clears throat> doing well, thanks. You? I'm doing pretty, pretty good, pretty good. So at 17 and 1, you know, did you ever think you would be here? Um, I mean, it's been a, it's been a tough road to get to that point. So, um, I mean, yes and no. I mean, I expect the best for myself, but um, you know, there's been some tough situations this season and some matches that I've just kind of squeaked out. So, I'm grateful to be where I am right now with the record, and um, I'm just hoping for one last good weekend here. And what do you think the key has been this season to all the success? Yeah, um, I would just say focusing on a lot of uh, small details in my game. Um, you know, tennis is very analytical. There's physics and geometry even can come into it. Um, and just a matter of focusing on one task at a time, whether that's the practice that day, um, even like focusing on my class in class, you know, not thinking about an assignment during the matches, just keeping it one task at a time on a match day, that's, that's what I have going on the match, blocking out distractions, and, um, and yeah, that, that's probably the main thing. I was gonna ask, being a student athlete and having this much success, you know, there's obviously a lot of noise that comes with it. Mm -hmm. So how do you remain focused and try to block some of that out? Yeah, like I said, um, it's just one thing at a time, um, you know, it can sound a little ridiculous, but like using like lists and things to making sure, you know, following the schedule each day. Um, it can be tough as a student athlete, but I'd say also most student athletes would also agree that um, there's lots of structure built into our days with practices lifting. Um, you know, we're expected to be in every single class and that, um, that kind of gets rid of all the nonsense you could be doing in your day with the, all those distractions. Um, so all of it together makes a pr pretty good recipe for s success. And then obviously with everything you've been doing on the court, you know, you're making a push for CAA Player of the Year. I know you're humble, but why might you say you deserve it? I, I mean, to this point, I've done everything that I can do um, in my race for it, I'd say. Um, you know, I went undefeated this year in CA matches. Um, unfortunately, we're not playing our championship, CA championship this, this season. But um, you know, I, I hope that the people voting on the on the Player of the Year can at least uh, respect what I've uh, done so far this season. Um, you know, I understand if I'm sure someone might step up during the CA championship and have a great run when two or three matches for their team. That's just too good to them. I can't really, I can't control that. So, you know, I've done what I can and just see what happens now, I guess. And talking about the CAA, how was that feeling when you heard out that the team wasn't able to compete for a championship? Yeah, it was tough. Um, you know, that's always our goal, but it, it shouldn't change too much, really. You know, for everyone, we, everyone wants to win. Um, and just, just, I mean, playing has been, playing tennis is my passion. So, you know, I'm still playing a sport I really enjoy. Um, and I hate to lose. So, you know, just approaching each match as another opportunity is all I can really do. I mean, after losing that, um, the opportunity to compete in the championship, you know, you just focus on winning each match. That's it, really. And then you have another match this Friday in your hometown. How big is that? Yeah, no, I mean, it's just another, just another match. Um, it just happens to be in my, in my home club. Um, I think it'll be really fun um, being able to see family and friends that probably haven't seen me play in college at all yet. So um, I hope it'll be exciting for them to get to see a Division I college match. You know, there's a lot of energy in the sport. So um, it'll be fun, but like I said, it's just not our match. We just need to approach it the exact same way. Um, we're playing in an indoor bubble, which we have here, so it should be a very similar atmosphere to what we're used to. All right, and then lastly, what's your overall goal, not only for yourself, but for this team moving forward? Um, I would just say to contribute at, at the number one spot on, in doubles and singles, um, put points on the board. Um, I would say our overall goal, as of right now, we're looking to next year's Sun Belt Championship, I would say. Um, 
you know, it's far away, but without having our, our major team goal of winning the conference tournament this year, we have to look towards next year, I'd say. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.